So hi and welcome to Data Explorer's Market Update with me, Will Duff Gordon. So this week has been doom and gloom with the exception of Belgium. Well done the Belgians. They've come out and actually raised their economic growth forecast to 2.2% because the news out of the UK is manufacturing is weak, inflation is high, uh, the Eurozone is also not looking so rosy, Japan is asking its banks to reserve more capital, China is tightening, the US um, talked about um, some negative economic numbers. So the whole thing is looking pretty gloomy and our investors are uh, sort of looking nervous as well. So let's first of all look at the um, commodity bubble that sort of has been a bit of a roller coaster this week. We talked about silver on Monday because obviously suddenly silver went down a lot, oil came down a lot, loads of commodities came off. Uh, if we look at what people are shorting in terms of the ETFs exposed to um, some of these commodities, we see that people basically saw that the bubble was going to be pricked rather too early. Basically by about the 20th of April people thought that uh, that's when the short interest reached its high point in most of these uh, commodity ETFs as you can see from the chart that goes with this piece. And they start to cover, and then of course it was just post Easter and sort of during Easter uh, that we had this great um, fall off in the commodities, which continues. If you look at oil, the United States oil fund as a proxy for negative sentiment on oil, actually short covering there. People aren't betting that oil is going to be coming down much below $100 a barrel. Japan, alongside its raising its capital requirements for its banks, uh, it said that its nuclear reactor uh, is close to kind of completely melting down. Uh, we see the EWJ, the iShares MSCI Japan ETF, uh, the short interest in that is close to, as, close to the level it was just after the earthquake. So people a bit worried about stagflation in, uh, in Japan and ahead of the quantitative easing, shorting lots of stocks there. Uh, an actual TEPCO in the Tokyo Electric Power, the, the company behind uh, the, uh, the reactor in question, actually there's been a bit of short covering in that stock. Uh, Taiwan, quite interesting. What's happening in Taiwan? I thought people thought Taiwan was going to do well this year. There's been a huge increase, a trebling in the short interest in the Taiwan ETF, EWT. Uh, and if we look at SPY, which is the, um, the big spider giving you exposure to the S&P 500, that's got short interest at close to a six month high. Uh, this probably means it's time to go long and be cheerful while everybody else is being miserable uh, and uh, each to their own. But if you'd like to read the report, it is at dataexplorers.com forward slash news. Thank <laughs> you.